Do you want to know how to make a triple crochet? It's also called the treble crochet. Well, if so, I got you covered. All right, so you ready to learn the treble crochet? Now, I just want to let you know as well, sometimes this is listed as the triple crochet. So triple and treble, just remember that they both um, work with each other. So the first thing I want to tell you, let's go ahead and dive into the screen here because I want to show you what this looks like. I'm going to give you the symbol and give you a couple little things so we can show you on paper first. So before we actually do the hook and yarn, the reason why I'm doing this is so you can actually have an idea of exactly the placement of your hook and where it goes inside the chains. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is when you're looking at crochet um, stitches, usually they'll tell you the foundation chain. They'll tell you um, how many you need. And in this case, for a treble crochet, a triple crochet, it can be any number of chains. So you don't. it doesn't matter if it's odd or even. And some chains you'll, or some stitches you'll see, you'll read it below it, it'll tell you that it has to be done in an even number, odd number, or multiples of two or whatever. But for the treble crochet, it's any number of chains. It's not gonna matter how many you do. Um, the next thing I wanna tell you is, again, treble or triple. So either way, you're gonna see them um, listed as two different names. However, the abbreviation is gonna be the same. So the treble crochet, the abbreviation is gonna be TR. So that's what you're gonna see going forward. Now that you understand that's the abbreviation, um, the next thing I wanna tell you is what the symbol looks like because that way some of these um, stitches actually have little charts or if you see a pattern that has a chart next to it, sometimes it's good to look at both of them. So in case you're not really familiar with the terminology or maybe they wrote something that sounds a little weird to you, at least this way you can look at the, um, the chart and have an idea of what the symbol looks like and where it goes in the placement. So the treble crochet, it's going to be a T with two lines going next to it. Um, sometimes you'll see the T, uh, the line going at an angle. Sometimes it goes straight across, but this is the symbol for it. And um, to give you an example of what I've, again, so if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see what I mean. So the two loops right there, that kind of stands for like, so let's say for instance, if I drew um, a crochet hook. So let's say this is the crochet hook here, and this is the backside. So think of this backside as this top part right here. So when you're first starting off your treble crochet, um, you're going to do two loops over. So you can do two loops. So that's where I say that goes um, coincide with that. So that's how I kind of look at it. So when I'm looking at my crochet hook, I look at it, I gotta remember, oh yeah, treble crochet, this is the symbol. I have to do two loops first before I actually start the process. So I know that's a little weird, but again, that's what I learned a long time ago and I'm sticking with it. So I just wanted to show you and get rid of that here. So now let's talk about a couple other things you need to be familiar with while we're doing this here. And the next thing is the term, um, I mean, if you can, the next, not term, um, it's going to be chain. So I want you to know what the chain is and the abbreviation. So now that you know TR is for treble, chain is CH. The symbol for um, the chain is going to be an oval. The next thing we're going to talk about is loops. You're going to hear me mention loops like how many times, like we had two loops on our hook. And the abbreviation for that would be LP. Sometimes it's LPS, depending on the designer. And the last thing we hear me say is turning chain or the turning, um, you know, when you turn the work over. That's just the terminology that I want you to be familiar with. Um, those are the things we need to go. And now that you understand that, I'm actually going to show you um, a drawing of 10 chains. We're going to do 10 treble crochets. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that here in just a second. All right. So now that you know that, let's go ahead and open up a new screen here. And so let's go ahead and start off with... Um, and do our little slip knot. This is our slip knot area. This is where we start from. So this is going to be the little arrow starting point. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and chain 10. So for this demonstration, I'm going to do 10 treble crochets. So so now that you know that it's going to be 10 chains, that's how many we're going to do. So let's talk about how high and how tall the stitch is. This is important to know because a treble crochet is four chains high. So that's when you hear someone says the height or they talk about how tall or how long the post is, they're referring to like the height of the chain and a treble crochet is four chains high. So that post is going to be really long. It's going to be a, a long post and it's going to be four chains high. So that means once we've done our 10 chains for the foundation, we have to go to the height. We have to work our way to the height of the next chain um, of the next stitch. In this case, one, two, three, four. It's going to be four chains high. So now that you know that, um, what I'm going to draw to you next here is going to so I'm going to draw this here. This is going to be the last. This is where your loop. This is where your hook is at right now. This doesn't count. Anytime you see this part here, this doesn't count for the for the chain. This is just where your hook is going to be placed at right now. So imagine this is your hook, and you're going to count back five. So you're going to place your hook into the fifth chain back. So this is one, two, three, four, 
So at this location right here, that is where you want to place your hook in consideration of the treble crochet. And also the things I want to mention to you as well, that this part right here is also called the base. So that's going to be the base of your post. So this is going to be the treble crochet. That's the base of it. Um, the next thing I want to mention to you here as well is this part right here where I'm circling. That's where you want to place your stitch marker. And I'm really big on telling everyone to use your stitch markers as much as you can. It makes a big difference because if you're working on a project and you skip a stitch or you miss a stitch, it's going to be a lot of work going back and it's going to be frustrating. So while you're, going, while you're getting started with this or if this is a stitch you're just learning, please just use your stitch markers as much as you can. But that's going to be really important. Um, so let me go ahead and erase this now. And we're going to go ahead and go a little further. So let me do that. And so now... We're going to go back here, and this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 10. We're going to go 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to go 4 up, and from this point here, we're going to do our double, our treble crochet all the way across, treble crochet, and this should be done with, let me make it a little closer. I just drew it so high because the stitch is so high. So this is the part here, you're going to keep on going all the way across. And I'm going to do two rows. Yeah, look at my drawing. It got smaller and smaller. <laughs> all right. So, but you understand we're going to do 10 treble, treble crochet all the way across. And then from this point, if you want to go to the next row, um, you have to do the same thing. This is going to be our turning chain. This is where we're going to be at um, creating the next row. So again, we talk about the height of the stitch. So this particular stitch is four chains high. So remember that. So now one, two, three, four. So we have to go up four chains high. And then from that point, what we want to do is do our treble crochet on top of the crochet that was below the treble crochet below that. So that means in this part here. So we're going to treble crochet on top of the one that's before uh, below that. So just continue this process all the way. Keep on going and you're going to chain and you're treble crochet on top of the old other crochet that's there. So keep on going, keep on going. And now here's the thing. If you want to go to the next row, same process. One, two, three, four. And now that you understand that here, what I want to show you is so you can understand the foundation, the rows, and I just want to make, I want to give you as much information I can while we're doing this video. So that way, when we start working on other stitches that I do in the um, our tutorials, if I show you like the puff stitch, shell stitch, all these other crazy stitches, at least you have a better understanding. Because this one, I want to give everybody the foundation stitches, as much information I can. So going forward, it'll be a breeze and like, okay, I totally understand it. He taught me this earlier. So now I know what to look for for symbols. I know what to look for on abbreviations. And that's why I'm doing it. So now that you know that this is the bottom part here, um, that's going to be your foundation row. So foundation row here. Again, that could be um, any amount of chains because it didn't matter. There's no evens or odds. And then this row right here, the very first one that we did all of our half, I mean, our treble crochet, some patterns or chart designs, you'll see the number next to it. So it's going to be one. That's going to mean row one. And some of them you'll see the words row written out, like row one, row two, but usually it'll just be a number or a little circle with a number next to it. So now if we went across and keep on going this direction here, going from right to left. So you go to this section here. That is going to be row two. So you're going to see that listed as row two. And then you go to this up here. If you were to continue on, that would be row three. So now that you understand the symbols, what it looks like, how many, how many chains you have to go up high, and then you know going left and right, and then going creating your treble crochet, let's actually dive in and show you what it looks like on um, with the actual hook and yarn. But again, it's really important to remember that you go chain four, and then in the very foundation chain, you're going to place your hook into the fifth chain from the hook. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and dive, dive in and just take a look at it with the hook and yarn. All right, so before we actually start working on this one, what I want to show you here is a little swatch that I made. And the reason why I'm showing you this swatch is I want you to see and understand the difference between the different sizes of crochet stitches. The one that we're working on today, the treble crochet, also called the triple crochet, is the highest or the tallest of all the stitches. So this one is made up of four chains to make the height of it. So this particular swatch here is a single chain, single crochet. Um, I've done a few single crochets here, half double crochets, doubles, and treble. So you can see how it goes at an angle because that's telling you how tall the stitch is. So that's what we're going to be working on. All right, so let's go ahead and do our slip knot, and we're going to go ahead and chain five. So get started with that. And just chain loose them. Don't, you don't have to make them really tight. I usually make my um, foundation chain a little bit loose anyway. One, two. I'm 
now we have our five chains here the next thing you want to do is because we talk about the height of the actual stitch itself it's going to be remember i showed you here it's going to be four chains high so now we have, that means we have to make four more chains so one two three four and now that we have the four here the next thing we're going to do i'm trying to keep this so you can still see it we want to place our hook into the fifth chain back so this is the first this is the first chain right here second third fourth fifth so this is the spot we we'll go here one two three four five that's where we want to place our hook at so let me go ahead and get this already here so i kind of know where my my hook's going to be and let me get my finger set it set up correctly and the first thing you want to do is you want to chain over twice so do two chains on two loops and then you insert into the fifth chain from the hook and that's going to give you you're going to have four loops on your chain pull through so you have the four loops here from this point here you're going to yarn over pull through the first two you have three loops yarn over pull through the next two yarn over pull to the last two so that is how you actually do a triple crochet and now from this point here we're going to go to the next stitch is right here we're going to yarn over twice and go to the next chain if you have to use your fingers it's okay yarn over pull through i give myself a little bit of height here you're going to have four on your, your hook four loops and then you go ahead and pull through two yarn over pull through two Yarn over, pull through two. I made that one a little bit tight. All right, so there you go. That's our next one. And we got three more left. So yarn over, yarn over, onto the next chain. Yarn over, pull through. Give yourself a little bit of height so it goes up a little higher. You have four, four loops. Go ahead, go through two. Go through two. Yarn over, pull through two. There we go. And that leaves us with just two more. Yarn over, yarn over. Go to the next chain here. And again, I'm using my finger to prop it through because sometimes it's difficult. And then I'm gonna give myself a little bit of height. Let me get some yarn here. Give myself a little bit of height. And that way I can still have my four loops here. Yarn over go through two three loops yarn over pull through two two loops yarn over pull through two here we go and we got the last stitch here so yarn over yarn over go to the last one right before the uh, slip knot yarn over pull through two and we're gonna have four loops on our chain here yarn over pull through two three loops yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that is it. So now if you look back here, we should be able to count the stitch of the V's. One, two, three, four, five. So I have five V's. That means I have my five treble crochets. And now at this point here, if you want to go any further and go to the next row, um, what you can do is actually just go ahead and turn the work over. And from here, there's going to be four chains, like we talked about earlier, for four chains to go up for the height. So one, two, three, Four. So now that you the height of four, we want to skip the very first stitch right here, which is, this is the first stitch, this one, and we want to place it underneath this V right here, that V. Let me see if I can make this a little closer. So you can see that V right here. This is going to be, oops, sorry, this is it. That's the first one, so we're going to put our V underneath here. And I'm going to go ahead and yarn over, yarn over. And then go underneath it, pull through. And the thing about this one I want to tell you, it's a very wide open, like I said, airy, very airy type of um, yarn or stitch. So you're gonna have a lot of leeway on that. Um, go here, pull through, and you're gonna have four of these on your hook. Again, I like to give myself a little height. Yarn over, pull through two. And it's the same process. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And now I'm gonna go to the next stitch. I'm making this really loose here, but I'm just gonna show you, just because I'm showing you the next stitch with the two little V's. That's where we wanna place it. Oops. Place it underneath that little V right there. Pull the yarn. 
And again, I like to give myself height, so I go up a little higher. And then let me get my hand situated a little better. Yarn over, pull through two, three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And I'm gonna do a couple more. We're almost done here anyway, we got two more stitches. Do the V, pull through, oops, go. Okay, so we got one, two loops. Underneath that V, pull, give myself that height. Pull through two, two. Yarn over, pull through two, one, two. This is the last stitch right here. Yarn over, give myself a little bit of height, so let my tension a little bit looser. Pull through two, get three of these on your hook. Two. That is it. So again, you want to count, you got the V's. You count one, two, three, four, five. So you get five, you see the five posts? One, two, three, four, five. That is it. This is your treble crochet. So that's how you create your five, or that's how you do your stitches. Again, four chains tall. Um, the very first row, you're gonna chain into the fifth chain, and then you can do two yarn overs, pull through. So you got the process. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, just go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We got more stuff like this coming up, but again, this tutorial is a little bit longer than normal because I wanted to give you as much information as I could. So if you enjoyed it, just go ahead and like it, share it. If you have any comments or anything you just want to see in the future, please let me know. And other than that, ciao. See you later.